All right. Two cousins. One male, one female. And then there's two males. One of my cousins that's a female knows one of these or both these males. I recommend you to get out of it. If you don't, I don't feel bad for you and I do not feel sorry for you. One bit. I truthfully do not feel bad for you. Because of what you pulled on me before. And I know. I know you know about it. So that one particular female cousin that knows one of these males. Just know and understand that if you're caught in the middle of this crossfire, I don't feel bad for you. I really don't. Because you got what's coming to you too. And I know for a fact you're talking to him. And I know you know information. And I know what you did to me last time around. So it looks like a lot of people are involved that I know. Possibly that's a connection to everybody. And anybody. So there's a little bit more people that has connections with Shane Thornberry. I don't feel bad for you. Now I'm starting to think this female cousin is in the middle of something. And it shows it right here. I don't care. Now, if you get caught in the crossfire, I don't care what happens to you because you deserve it. You're getting yourself in the middle of something that has nothing to do with you. But you sure got an involvement somewhere in here. I have no mercy upon your soul. And I will never forgive that female cousin of mine. I never will. I will never forgive her. For some odd reason. That you have people sticking up for you. That's fine. But I got my family sticking up for me. The correct way. And not going to be ganging up on me. I'm going to tell you that my family don't gang up on me. So just remember that they, they know you ganged up on me before. So don't cry and bitch when my family decides to gang up on you. Don't cry and bitch about it. Take it like a woman that you are. Don't be crying and bitching about it either. They know what you did with that one particular man a long time ago. They know you got a part in something with hurting me still to this day. That's why I said I really honestly don't feel bad for that female. I really don't feel bad for her. I really don't. I do not feel sympathy for her. I do not feel bad for her. Because she's got it coming. And I know for a fact. She's contacting. This one. One of the two males. I know she is. And I know she talks to him. A lot. I 
Just know that I know. Uh, my family is not a fan of you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that. My family, my cousins, are not a fan of you. They despise you and everybody else. Just know that and understand that. That you didn't want to do the right thing. And you're still getting in the middle of people trying to hurt me. You put yourself in the middle of something that has nothing to do with you. But now that you're put in the middle, I'm going to put you there. Because you want your name in a light. You apparently want to be in the middle of this because of one particular male that got involved in trying to hurt me again. Key word, hint, hint. I was on probation when I was getting abused by this man when I had my first home. Hint, hint. That's why I don't feel bad for you and I do not feel sorry for you. This year is Judgment Day. In 2024, karma and judgment is hitting everybody. Like I said, do I have sympathy for you? No. Do I feel bad for you? No. Will I feel bad? No. No. Because you really don't deserve it from me. You really don't. And then you want to sit there and say that I owe you money. Knowing that I'm the one who helped you to get hair dye. I have no sympathy for you whatsoever. You sat back and watched people do what they do to me. Oh, but I forgot. You let men beat the crap out of you. Because you know how to stand up for yourself. I forgot about that. You let men abuse you. That you don't know how to take a pan or a bat or how to punch back. Oh, I forgot about that. But just like I said, let's say this one time. You are in the crossfire of this now. And it's a female cousin. And you know that individual who hurt me back then because when I went to Michigan to Grandma Palmer's funeral, you were over there and you were caught with him in that bed. I had people watching my home and somebody caught you over there knowing I wasn't even in town. That's why my family does not pretty much like you very much. They don't, they pretty much don't see you as a fan. They don't. But just like I said, you really think that these two males or three males are going to protect you? I know, I know specifically the one knows better not to pull anything on me. The other male, he looks at me like he was shocked that I was still alive. That male cousin, I don't know what he's getting himself into, but he's also in the crossfire. And so are you. Trust me and believe that something better give because my family does not play out here when it comes to me or my safety. You can cry and bitch all you want, but, you know, it is what it is. And I know you talk to that individual. And I know you're contacting these people. I know you are. That's not hard to find out who you're contacting either. Now, there's a male cousin. I've already said I won't say his name, but I know who he is. 
And I know especially that one female cousin of mine. Now there's two cousins, three possibly in the mix. Because, you know, for a damn fact, there's a cousin. So that's about one, two, three cousins trying to gang up on me. And my family is not going to have it. And then there's two exes. So let me see. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five people are trying to gang up on me at once. And Shane Thornberry. That's a lot of people. That's about one, two, three, four males that's trying to gang up on me. And you're the female, which wouldn't surprise me if you're not ganging up on me with um, the one who threatens stuff upon me too. So that would be two. That would be two females. You think you could gang up on me and get away with it? I don't think so. That ganging up on me? My family don't play about that. And they don't. They don't tolerate that. People ganging up on me like that. And you're in the crossfire of this? You got yourself in it, you can get yourself out. Don't be crying and bitching to the family about it either. They're not going to be able to help you of what you got in the middle of because you're probably not going to tell them the truth what the hell you've done to me. And you get that one person to gang up on me again, I'll get a hold of one of my uncles to gang up on him. I'll have my uncle gang up on that uncle. I'm not kidding. I'm not going to be having people in the shadows. People think I don't know this. People don't think I don't know what they're trying to do, what they're trying to gang up on me in the dark, in the shadows. Now, I have every right to think like this. And I know who that female cousin is. I ain't going to say that name either. I'm going to let people figure it out. I'm going to let them find out who are the two male cousins of mine. I'm going to let them figure it out. I'm going to let them figure out who are the two people that are both males I'm talking about. I'm going to let them figure it out. Says so apparently they know everything. Let, let's really see how smart the Williams are out here. Let's actually see if they got some common sense. But like I said, I do not feel bad for anybody. I've been tired here lately. And it's probably because I probably need to get my rest. Because there are some in the energy flow that is off. Because this is what they wanted. They got away with it for so long. Now it's coming out. In the physical now. I've been hearing crows a lot too. And usually sometimes when they show up calling like crazy, it's because that is a message and there's a whole bunch. That means there's people trying to gang up on you and trying to hurt you. Or there's enemies in the area or there's enemies in the energy flow that's trying to attack. Oh, trust and believe. I know. And you think I don't. But like I said, you can actually think on it. See, see if you'll be able to get what the heck I'm talking about. So let's test their intelligence. To see which female am I talking about? Which males am I talking about? What two other males am I talking about? Because you get that one uncle to gang up on me, I'll get a hold of my uncle to gang up on him. 
And it would be fair game. And it's not that hard to get a hold of my family. But like I said, I think I'm going to go and get off of here. Like I said, you got yourself in this, you can get yourself out. You know what I mean? You put yourself in this predicament, you can be woman enough to pull your pants up and get yourself out. Now my left ear is ringing. So that means something ain't right again. Ring the alarm. I am catching on to something here. But uh, just like I said. That you trying to gang up on me in the shadows. I'm going to know about it. And if you are being secretive. Getting a hold of people. Of trying to kill me off. How do I not know you didn't have a part? Now there's a female cousin in the mix. How do I not know you didn't have a part in killing off my mother? That would be your aunt. You better think upon that. Before you start coming at me stupidly. You better start thinking. You can get mad at me all you want. I don't care. This is my life that you're playing with. You are messing with my life. And I see it as fair game now. Bets are off the table. Anything goes. Do you want to act really stupid towards me? You play stupid games. You win stupid prizes. <laughs>